Hi ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me in my second video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can build a better relationship with yourself. Um, and that means you'll be happier, uh, more fulfilled, you'll feel better, you'll be, um, you'll have better relationships uh, and you'll attract better things into your life, okay? Having a great relationship with ourselves is extremely, extremely important. Okay, it's it's. Uh, I would say it's imperative. Uh, it should it should be your priority instead of uh, having um, uh, first build a good relationship with yourself, and then you can uh, worry about external relationships. All right, um, those will will come naturally, and. Uh, you know, you uh, if you have a, a better relationship with yourself, you'll be able to show others how you want to be treated. All right. So, um, uh, with having what comes with having a better relationship, right? You won't have to worry about uh, being rejected for being your quirky self. Okay, you can be who you are. Uh, when you accept yourself, you don't really care uh, whether you're liked by other people or not, right? You just like yourself, and. Um, that's that's all that matters to you, right? Um, you won't fear being alone, right? You um, you'll be able to go out and do stuff by yourself. You can go to restaurants and you know order a table for three. Me, myself, and I, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, and um, you'll be able to travel alone. Right? Uh, you. Um, it, that's that's amazing. That's like my favorite thing to do is to travel by myself. All right, so um, so let's get to the nitty gritty, right, of what I was going to talk about. So um, let's get to let's let's uh, begin to cover those points that I mentioned, right? And uh, so um, well, I'm gonna go back to the signs uh, that indicated that you don't have a good relationship with yourself, right? And we're gonna talk about how uh, maybe you can change those things, okay? Um, so let's get back to uh, smoking and doing drugs, right? I think this one is a pretty important one and, and the reason being is because um, uh, smoking and doing drugs can literally kill you, okay? Um, uh, first of all, both of them are carcinogens, right? Which means they're cancer-causing. In nine cases out of ten, tobacco use and smoke or, and smoking, um, they... Um, have been the primary cause of uh, lung cancer, okay? Um, you know, um, they also do um, a lot of damage uh, to your uh, your whole body. Uh, um, they cause uh, dry skin, they're extremely dehydrating, right? They can cause uh, depression, uh, alcohol is a depressant. Um, and uh, they can uh, wreak havoc on your hormones too. So I don't recommend smoking or drinking if you do, okay? Uh, if, you, if you've got buddies that you go out with um, that are always drinking, right? And you feel like you, you feel this peer pressure to, to, to drink too, then, then uh, you know, maybe, it's a, maybe it's, a, um, it's a clue, right? Maybe it's, it's an indication that you might have to step away from those bodies and uh, find some uh, new friends. So point number two, right? Let's go back to this point. You get jealous of other people and their success, right? Um, slow it down. Wait a minute. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Why? Because, because, because we all... Things are never what they seem to be, okay? Um, there's always something under the surface, okay? What appears isn't usually real, okay? So if you if you see a beautiful girl or a handsome man, right? Um, and they look like they're happy and they're, you know, they're... Um, they they seem like they have the perfect life. They usually don't, okay? Most of us, I've never known a single person without some kind of struggles who who wasn't going through uh something i have never known anyone like this okay so uh, every person that i know that i knew uh in the past they they always had something difficult something challenging that were that they were going through and despite putting on that happy face you know and um 
um, you know, to the outside world, right? Um, like I said, things are not always what they seem to be, okay? So just because someone looks a certain way doesn't mean that they don't have a, uh, certain issues that they're dealing with. They, they do, they most certainly do, okay? Um, so don't don't judge a book by its cover, okay? That's one thing. And second of all, I, you know, I want to mention uh, things and houses, right? And if you get jealous of those things, once again, right? What, um, uh, perhaps that other person, right? The person who has the perfect house or the perfect car, maybe they had to give up too much of themselves in order to get that. I know most people, most um, self-made millionaires, they work their asses off. They they work their asses off daily, in order to get that money, right? Uh, in order to become financially uh, independent, right? So so it takes a lot of hard work, and when you're working towards something, you can usually when when your focus is on one thing, when you when you have laser focus on something you usually cannot do multiple things at a time, okay? Because you're just not going to give your 100% to something. You don't know what it took for other people to get what they have, the things that they have, right? Maybe um, they had to, what was the opportunity cost, right? What are the things that they had to give up, right? Maybe, maybe gave, they gave up give, um, having family, Maybe uh, they gave up their soul, literally sold their soul for uh, some money. Like I'll give you an example of, uh, of that, right? Uh, a woman, a beautiful woman, right? Uh, sleeping with, with an older guy who is, who is, uh, who's got the money but doesn't have anything else but, but that money, right? Maybe she's not attracted to him on any level, right? But she's still sleeping with him just so, because he buys her things, right? So that's that's selling your soul. <laughs> um, uh, so you don't know, uh, you know, just because someone has something or looks a certain way, um, doesn't mean that they have it all. Uh, in more uh, in most cases, uh, you know, people that have a lot of money, um, they don't have anything else besides that money. You know, they're they're. Um, financially rich right but spiritually poor so money is the only thing that they have they're so poor that money is the only thing that they have <laughs> so so you know don't judge a book by its cover uh, one other thing that I will tell you is that try to use other people as an inspiration right so something to get inspired by something to fuel your own soul uh, to light your own fire right um, so if you see someone that has something that you like, right, then that then get inspired by that, and and because they're an example, um, a human and a life example of what you can have. Okay, you can have anything that you want. You just have to believe in yourself, babe. All right, just believe in yourself. That's all that it takes is self belief. All right. And those people, use other people as your inspiration. Get motivated by them. Look at them and, and tell yourself, I can do the same. Because you can, alright? Um, also, if you haven't found your passion yet, other people can be um, your clue as to what your, um, what, in which direction you can be going to. What, in which direction you should go to, right? Um, so let's just say you're tr you're um, attracted to like a lot of entrepreneurs, right? Or uh, maybe it's writers, maybe it's uh, painters, right? So uh, usually there's a reason why you're drawn to a certain person uh, that's doing something. It's because um, you have or you're capable of um, um, kind of starting the same, or you're you're um, you're attracted to that particular thing because because you you could be doing the same thing right if you wanted to and and uh you will probably find that um um highly appealing right um so give it a try right don't um don't get jealous just go for the things that you want
all right because you can you can get them yourself too all right okay so uh the next topic that i'm going to discuss is overeating right or starving yourself in this case bulimia or anorexia right so i would say uh, just from experience it's a it's a mental uh disorder it's actually a thought disorder okay so um i know i know it personally i know it really well because i used to have anorexia and i managed to overcome it okay it's it's a thought disorder right like i said before um if you're able to control your thoughts and uh be your own best friend right as in advocate for yourself so if if uh, you have thought because we're not our thoughts right uh, we're the uh, consciousness we're the observer of those thoughts right so if you have a thought that comes in that tells you you're fat for example right um, or you're not skinny enough right <laughs> um, then uh, don't just accept that thought for what it is right change them into something else, right? Like uh, be your own advocate, N either neutralize them or make them into positive thoughts, change, you know, and, and that's, this, this can be applied to actually many things, but I'm not gonna go into it uh, in this video. Uh, but, uh, you know, our mind is everything. And if we can control our thoughts, we can, uh, uh, you know, become extremely successful in our life. It's really about controlling your thoughts. It's what you tell yourself. Um, it's what you believe, If it's what you choose to believe because it's your choice to believe something, okay? You don't have to believe in everything that you think, all right? Uh, we'll go to another point. Um, you don't speak kindly to yourself and you're, you're, you put yourself down all the time, right? Uh, so why is that a problem? Well, because um, would you talk to your friend the way that you talk to yourself sometimes of course not right your friend will be like what just like get out of here bye you know i don't want to be friends with you anymore right so but what so why do you talk to yourself like this you know um why do you um make a mistake right um and you automatically like call yourself stupid call yourself dumb right just because you made a mistake so so what you know uh, first of all, mistakes, right? It, uh, allow yourself to make mistakes. It's okay to make mistakes because we're human, right? Uh, we we learn from making mistakes, so it's 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 a good thing. Um, by making mistakes, you learn and you you get stronger and better, right? Self love is really also about speaking to yourself kindly. It's about learning to uh, be okay with with making mistakes, right? And recognizing that you know when you're you're tired, for example, that it's okay to be tired. You know, uh, it's it's um, refraining from uh, you know criticizing yourself harshly, developing a good relationship with yourself is about speaking to yourself kindly it's about uh, letting yourself off the hook every once in a while right and and uh you know allowing yourself to make mistakes and and not beating yourself up when uh, something doesn't uh, go your way right uh, we all have our off days right uh, it doesn't mean that we're any less intelligent for example right so try to uh, be aware of that inner dialogue, uh, be aware of any of those negative thoughts that you're having um, and don't, don't accept them, you know, just refuse to, to accept uh, bad thoughts about yourself. Um, that's really as simple as that. Be, become aware of those thoughts, right? And then um, neutralize them or make them positive, right? And think of examples from the past, that uh, kind of um, advocate for you, right? So if your thought is like, oh, I'm so stupid, I can't do anything right, right? Then think of the time in the past when you actually did things right or when you, when you did something right. Um, so that will be, uh, this will be like your, um, you know, kind of like you advocating for your own self, right? and providing examples like no this isn't true I, I did this you know right in the past so here right and um, 
there you go right so um and then your your thought just becomes um irrelevant uh let's get back to another point um you deny emotions and you ignore them right so uh this one is a tricky one because um mm, well uh depending on your upbringing right we we all had um like for example my parents my, my, my own mother, she denied her emotions, right? So in turn, she denied, denied uh, me and my brother's emotions too, right? And uh, of course, we grew up kind of like suppressing our emotions, right? We couldn't really fully express ourselves. So um, emotions, uh, and emotions are extremely, extremely important to express, okay? Um, they have to, once they arise, they have to go out so, uh, somewhere, all right? Uh, they can't just stay there, all right? If you, uh, for example, if anger is directed inwards, right, it can cause depression. So uh, exp uh, the expression of emotions uh, is extremely important. But of course, it is how you express those emotions, right? And I'm still learning how to do that. Uh, it's not It's not easy, all right? Um, um, especially for guys, actually, I'm going to make a separate video just for guys, um, about, uh, emotional expressions, okay, and expressing your emotions in the right way, because, uh, you know, suppressing your emotions, that's not the answer, all right, or just expressing certain ones, that's also not the answer, okay, like anger, right, um, anyway, so um, instead of denying your emotions and ignoring them, we need to express those emotions and find healthy outlets for our emotions, be it sports, be it art, be it, you know, if you're angry, take a sheet of paper and rip it, right? Or even use a pillow, you know, some say it's not okay, right? But I think it's fine. Even yeah, go go ahead and yell into your pillow if you need to, okay? So that lets your negative emotions out and that's okay, all right? My next point, I'm almost done with this video, uh, is you don't have healthy boundaries, right? You're a pushover or a people pleaser, right? So you just can't say no, right? Everything is a yes, 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 uh, right? Until eventually, like, you want to explode because you you resent other people. You begin to resent others because you're always saying yes to them when you really don't want to, right? So once again, you're kind of like suppressing your emotions. You're, you're not being authentic, right? You're not so setting healthy boundaries. You're not saying no enough, all right? Sometimes we have to say no, draw a line in the sand, okay? Because that's what we need for our well-being, to, be, to feel happier. Most of us have uh, too many things on our plates as it is, right? So, so uh, saying no is imperative. You, you have to be able to say no, right? Um, so, um, how would you go about it? Well, you just have to do it. You just have to say no. You just have to say no, okay? Uh, it comes down to building a better relationship with yourself, right? And uh, saying yes to yourself, okay? Uh, so, when we say no to someone else, we say yes to ourselves. So, say no to say more no's to other people and say more yeses to yourself, okay? That's how you treat yourself better. That's how you build a better relationship with yourself, okay? If you're tired, if you don't, if you already have too much work and if, if someone is asking you to do their work or, uh, you know, to help them, then, then if, you, if, you're, if you feel like you're uh, already buried, right? If you just, if you want to relax, then, then say no. Okay, say no um, and um, be okay with that, you know, be okay with that no. And, and uh, if the other person doesn't like it, well, too bad, you know. Uh, sometimes it's also about the way, um, it's, it's how you say things, right? So just be, be very kind, be gentle, be um, uh, polite, right? But say no. A no is a no. The next point is you're afraid of going after what you want because you think you will fail, right? It comes down to, it all comes down to self-confidence, okay? If you don't have enough confidence in yourself, you will probably never go after your goals. Uh, you, you'll never face your, your fears. Um, guys, the fear is just in our head for the most part, okay? 
um, you know, sometimes you have to, I like, I, I love Nike, right? And I love their slogan. And it says, just do it, okay? But I will add to this. Don't just do it, right? If you want something. Uh, take baby steps to just do it, okay? And just do it, I mean. So take baby steps. Um, let's just say you're afraid of swimming, right? You're not just going to go into the ocean and, and, and start, you know, scuba diving, right? No, of course not. You're going to start out small. You might start out uh, swimming in your bathtub, right? Maybe like wiggling those legs, right? A, a little bit. Then you're going to move on to something a little bit bigger, right? And then a little bit bigger, then maybe you'll, you'll, I don't know, you'll use something to support yourself, right? So, so that's exactly what you have to do. Maybe it's traveling, right? Maybe you're afraid of traveling alone, right? So, um, you, you can, uh, you know, start out maybe traveling, going to, to the countryside nearby you, right? Or maybe you'll go to the city next to you, right? Um, and then you'll, you'll start kind of like branching out from there, right? Um, also sometimes you have to think of, uh, about the fear. Why, why do you have this fear in the first place? You have to go dig a little deeper, right? And, and find out what's, um, what what exactly you're afraid of, right? Maybe you're afraid of getting lost, right? Um, so take a map with you, you know, uh, get, um, I don't know, uh, you know, take some money with you so you can pay for a taxi just in case, know where you're located, right? Take a car to, to that hotel, right? So you know the exact address. Um, anyway, so thank you so much guys. I'm gonna end this video. I hope you really enjoyed it um, I'm gonna have a lot of other videos coming up. Okay, um, so have a good one Bye